Once you've imported some documents into your project, you may want to organize them in the document system. The more documents you have, the more helpful this can be. So if I want to create a document group, one of the options is to go to the Documents drop-down menu and choose New Document Group. It's automatically given the name Group 1, but it lets you change that as well. So maybe in our case, we'll want to have one document group for our interviews. And then to add these interviews into that document group, I simply click and drag it in. So I'll do that for all three of my interviews. You might also want to create a document group for our secondary sources. And once again, you can use the right-click rule. Always right-click if you want to do something. So I'm going to right-click on the documents icon. And once again, I have the option to create a new document group. And this time, I'll call it secondary sources. To move a file in there, once again, I click and hold and drag it in. And this is just one way to help you organize your data uh, within the document system in MaxQDA. Thank you.